Hi, my name is Peter with Upstate Equipment. Today we're gonna to do a walk around with our Bobcat E35 and its competition. We're gonna start with how the buckets disconnect and connect, move on to the cab interior, and then on to maintenance from there. So starting with the Bobcat E35, we run what's called the Bobcat Exchange Coupler. We offer this in a manual configuration and also the optional hydraulic configuration, which is shown here. This bucket can be removed and also put back on right from a button with inside the cab. On the standard configuration, there's a single pin that runs right here on your bucket. All you gotta do is knock it out, pop it back in, and your bucket's attached. All right, so now guys, we're gonna talk about the interior and the, the functions and benefits. Uh, one of the big things that Bobcat does is we have no foot pedals on the floor anywhere, uh, short of your drive levers. Uh, we have uh, the flip over drive levers here. Uh, it's nice because you can drive with your feet and when you're gonna run with your hands or you start working your boom functions, you can kick those up out of your way. Uh, nice, nice touch that we have is your boom swing at the front of the cab here is all fingertip controlled. A lot of our competition is gonna run a se separate foot pedal on the floor here, which just takes up valuable floor room. Uh, another nice thing that we do is if you have to switch controls from backhoe to excavator, I know everybody has their own preference. Ours is located right down here, very quickly accessible. It's not behind a locking panel or anything. Uh, this one does have the updated touchscreen. So the nice part about that is your radio, uh, if you add the optional backup camera, everything is all within this screen here. We also offer Bluetooth capability. There's a microphone in the cab, just like in your brand new pickup truck. You can take phone calls in here, respond to text messages, play any music that you want right through the, the display screen here. One nice thing Bobcat does, we put everything up and out in front of you. Nothing's tucked away behind you. Uh, all your joysticks are here, blade levers right here. Uh, this particular machine has the angle blade. Your ang switch for the angle blade is located right on your blade lever. Two speed button is right on the blade lever. Uh, and then again, all your controls are out in front of you. Makes it very quick and simple and you're not taking your eyes off of your job site. So now we're gonna move on to where the fuel fill location is and show you how accessible all the maintenance items are on this Bobcat E35. So located right here, you have your locking fuel cap right on the outside of the machine. Makes it very simple to fuel up while it's on the trailer. Moving around to the rear of the machine, you have your locking rear hood. Push the button there. And now you can access everything you need to right on your engine. There's your fuel filter, your primer bulb, your coolant tank, there's your air filter, oil fill is here, your dipstick is all right here. Right on the bottom side of the engine is your oil pan drain and also your oil filter. So moving around to the right hand side here, there's a tab right here, you pop that open. This panel here also removes very easily with two tabs. So what this does now, this gives you access to your entire cooling pack. These also separate with a twist knob right here. You can wash everything out quick and simple. This whole bottom panel here, if you're doing extensive maintenance, it's four bolts, two located here and two right on the front. Gives you full access to your entire control system here. You got your hydraulic oil filter. There's your hydraulic oil tank with the fill. There's your gauge for it, which you can also see that gauge from outside the machine when the side hood's down. You can access your entire control valve, your hydraulic filter, your battery, windshield wiper fluid, ECU, you name it. Everything is very accessible and right near your fingertips.